Right. I think it's up to me to bring to light the horrors of quarantine and what it does to students who have absolutely no parental guidance. 16th March 2020. A week before the official quarantine lockdown, there's a sense of normality. It's as if it's already the summer holidays. We don't have classes and we're left to our own devices to entertain ourselves. Going to the beach, painting rocks, reading bedtime stories. He started to look for some food. I am so hungry, the caterpillar said. <laughs> On Monday, he ate. Then, 23rd of March, 2020, the government imposes lockdown. We're officially on our own. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that. The confinement starts getting to us all as we're stuck in an echo chamber of our own behaviour. Slowly. Escalating. <laughs> so... <laughs> We had lost all sense of normal. Some members felt it more than others, notably Ella and I. Original poems. <laughs> You're listening. <laughs> As the days went by, we got more and more violent with each other, keeping it light-hearted and playful, though, just to keep us on our toes. <laughs> Her. See, I think point proven right. Ah! Point proven right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question is. How will this affect our behaviourisms in the long term? Has our bond as a house grown stronger or are we more fragile than ever? And most importantly, will this documentary be a success? I don't think this is going to be a very good documentary. <laughs> I know. I just look like the idiot. Well, but I believe in you and I believe you've got a vision. It's me. <laughs> I think you should aim a bit higher up. <laughs>